Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we're taking a look at how the different shooting modes of the Canon C70 um, compare with one another. And we'll also throw in some R5 footage uh, for, for comparison. So right off the bat here we have the maximum um, 4K 410 megabit per second intra 422 XFABC. And you can see a uh, little grain little green up here in the darks because that's where it falls off into almost black. This is all below the 20% mark, but my skin tone and the color checker here, um, pretty grain free, except maybe this dark area here. Um, but uh, lots of lots of different colors. This is 10 bit um, 422. So there's no chroma subsampling going on or very little. Um, and it looks pretty good. You notice a drop of quality immediately when you go down to um, 2K. So I, I shot all of these 4K and 2K and then up res to, to 4K. So you see, you know, this is the same type of um, compression, XFABC into 422. Uh, this is 100 megabits per second 2K and I've blown it up in size. So you should see some, some difference. It still looks pretty good, even at 4K. Then this is the um, XFABC long gop 422. 4K. See down here we've got 400, uh, 260 megabits per second versus uh, 410 megabits per second. So uh, they're pretty good. They're you know it's it's half the size, well um, half the bit rate while may, being the same size. And I mean you can't really tell the difference. Um, I'm going to punch in 300% in a second, and we'll be able to see it up close. Now we go to um, the long gop 2K, not too shabby. Colors still look good. Now we go to the, um, I wrote HCEV, it should be HVEC, high compression video codec, high efficiency video codec, HEVC. Anyway, this is the third option. This is H265, um, it's 42210 bit. It's only 135 megabits per second, so Compared to the major one, which is 410, it's you know a third the size, um, and it looks pretty good. There's not quite I would say there's not quite as much color in this one as this one as the as the maximum. Um, you're getting a little bit more grain as well. You see the little the grain dance up here. Or maybe maybe that's in the eye of the beholder. Still pretty good. The disadvantage of this um, H.265 is that it's more processor intensive processor intensive um, to edit and deal with because it's more highly compressed. Um, then we have the 2K upscaled. Um, that actually looks pretty good. At only 50 megabits per second, it looks pretty good. Then we're into the 420. This is a big size. This is the high the H265 420. It's still 10 bit, but so much more. I put the same LUT on all of these and so much more contrast in this. So the um, it's 100 megabits a second in 4K but you see it's twice the megabits of this one, but uh, so much darker in the shadows, it really clips those shadows, even though all of these are shot at C-Log 2. Face looks good still, even though it's a little more contrasty, but I thought that was interesting that, that so much more contrast in the, um, the 420. Then we get into um, the MP4, uh, which, Surprisingly is a lot of megabits per second because the the codec isn't as efficient So this is but it's all 8-bit 4208 bit and I think now you actually start to see a drop in quality if I just click to the first one and click to this one I Feel like you're not getting as much detail in the skin as much depth in the image Maybe I'm wrong. It still looks pretty good Definitely more, much more grain though. Look at this in these early ones, the grain is really just around the light, whereas um, in our MP4, we've got the grain all, all through the um, background. Next, we have a 2K version of that. And not that the image is by any means falling apart, but you're starting to see much more grain, much more compression throughout the whole thing. So this is interesting. This is the R5 8K RAW, which is 2,600 megabits a second. Oh my God, it's a, it is really the most standout of all of them, right? Because we, we go from this, which is 35, to this, which is 42, to this, which is 26, 
and even on my even through the YouTube compression you'd be able to see how much more detail there's almost no grain so much depth in the colors so much more separation in the colors this is a superior image by far um, but I also got chocolate on my shirt when I had lunch so <laughs> um, this is a world a world of difference almost you know five times more um, five times less stuff but like you know the downside of shooting on the R5 is you know there are many uh, the size is the least of your worries really if you have enough cards it, it, you know you're lacking all kinds of um, accurate stuff like time code and scopes and false color and you know practical shooting times and the right buttons and all the things that make um, this a cinema camera so this while it's a great image um, you're limited in other things if you're not using any of those things the R5 is is definitely the way to go so here we have these this whole process again at 300 percent so we have the maximum the maximum the uh xfavc intro 422 but in 2k the uh the 4k xfavc which looks a lot better in long up the long up 2k the h265 10 bit which i think you know if i had to go away you know if i was shooting um, a documentary and shooting hours and hours this is probably what i'd do that's the 2k version of it you you do see it stop down you lose detail for sure without any sharpening then we're going to this h265 420 which like i said is very contrasty that's the 2k version this is the 8-bit, and I'll upload these to Dropbox and let people download them if they want to look at them in their 4K ProRes glory. MP4 is not looking pretty. Um, the 2K is going to look even worse. Yeah, I really, you know, at this point you're losing it. Look how look how gigantic the compression blocks are once we've punched in 30. You know, you can you can see it from the uh, the 8-bit 4K to the 8-bit 2K, and then you're going to get a big shock when we go back to the um, R5 RAW. Boom, <laughs> it's like looking through a window to the future. It's pretty wild. Um, in the R5, well, you know, we've got 2600 megabits per second and this is 300%, this is 300% on a image that's already 8K. So, you know, you're, not, you're barely losing any detail, but wow, look at the comparison here. It's like night and day. So that is a look at the C70 shooting modes um, in 4K and 2K, comp uh, contrasted with the, the R5 AK RAW. Um, choose the one that works for your project. Um, check below for a link to this file. As always, if you're interested in uh, the C70 and you shoot with the camera, um, you'll probably get a lot out of the C70 Masterclass at canonmasterclass.com. Uh, click the link below. Uh, I think it's on sale right now, so check it out. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.